Evil Ones by Tyler Fitzsimmons, aka Tyler 23 Awesome. Entry 1. My name is Rob, and today is June 5th, 2017. I need to write this because these things they have been following me for about a week now. They just won't leave me alone. Even now, I can hear them scratching at the walls outside of my house trying to kill me, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. There are at least ten of them. I'm going to make a run for it, towards the police station. If I make it, then I will write another entry. Entry 2. June 6, 2017. It is exactly 7.31 p.m. and I made it to the police station. But when I got there, just nothing. No guns, no people, no nothing, except for a note saying, don't look behind you. I turned to see nothing but a wall. After I ran out of my house, I smashed into one of those things, and I fucking guarantee it. Those things aren't human. Razor sharp teeth and red eyes. If they were, there are no humans I've ever seen. They're trying to smash down the door. I need to find a weapon. Entry 3. June 7th, 2017. 2.54 a.m. I found a crowbar in the corner. Finding it almost dumbfounded me. But a weapon is a weapon. They smashed down the door. And I slowly walked up the stairs of the police station. I smashed three of them in the face, to no avail. They just kept coming with their red, menacing eyes, looking into my soul. I managed to get to the fire escape before they could get to me, though. I've been holding them off, but soon it won't matter. I haven't eaten in a couple days. I'm getting weaker, even swinging. I toss at those evil creatures. Was this just my imagination? Or was this the apocalypse? Had man finally been wiped out? I guess I always knew it was coming, but holy shit. This is impossible. Entry 4, June 10th, 2017. 8.34 a.m. I just found this iPhone on a dead body on the roof of the police department. Thank God he had a crowbar. There's no weapons anywhere in this crappy town. My name is Steven. I also found a wallet on that body. His name was Rob Faber. And he had $27. I almost felt bad while taking it, but I would need it a lot more than he would. Especially now that he's dead and I'm alive. I ran out of food two days ago. I had three cans of peaches. I shared with a girl and her daughter. But my god, I wish I'd kept those cans. The last time I saw them, they were with a group of people. They should be safe unless they don't have food either. Entry 5, June 11th, 2017. 12.56 p.m. My god, I found the girl and her daughter. They're dead, but not the way you would would have thought. The people that were helping people get to the shelter, they ripped both the girl and her daughter apart and must have eaten them. They were killed, they weren't killed by the evil ones. They were gutted and skinned. The sight made me vomit all over the floor. I didn't have long to mourn, because the evil ones were breaking through the windows and doors. As I ran for my life, it made me think, there is no more hope. Entry 6, June 12th, 2017, 6 p.m. The military, they're bombing the city, 
holy shit. How could they do this? There are still people in the city. I have been captured by the evil ones. They tied me up. The city was being destroyed. Soon it doesn't matter. One female evil one walked up to me and says, Do you know why this all happened? I reply with an honest no. This all happened because you're because of your arrogant race. Your government hid us from citizens and imprisoned us. You see, we are humans. We are the evolution. We are better, faster, stronger. Now I ask you, do you want the gift we hold? Smiling, I turn to her and instantly say, why would this matter? We're going to die anyway. Do you see, Stephen? We are immortal. You can live with us forever. But it's too late now. I've already decided for you. I feel an unbearable pain in my neck. Then it hit me. She was flowing blood into me. Oh God, I wanted to die. I don't want to live forever. That was the last thing I thought before a giant building came down from an explosion and crushed both me and her, I think. <laughs>